The man accused of running down another man in Penn Hills and leaving him to die in the street will stand trial. That's right. Saron Birch was in court this morning. Bob Allen takes a look at the charges he's facing and explains what happened today in court. 51-year-old Joseph Morris died last April after he was struck by a hit-and-run driver while walking on Hershey Road in Penn Hills. He was dragged more than a half mile to Universal Road. Police were tipped off about a damaged blue Saturn parked in McKeesport, and eventually they arrested the alleged driver, 21-year-old Saron Birch. Today, Birch was in court to face the charges. It's a terrible uh, situation, but uh, my client uh, didn't hit him and drag him a, you know, a half a mile. Defense attorney Kerry Lewis doesn't deny that Morris was hit by the car Birch was driving, but he thinks he came down in the opposite lane and was hit again by a second driver. I'm certain we'll, we'll, we'll come to the conclusion that the car that was coming south, the second car, hit that man and then rolled him up under the carriage and carried him. Apparently, police are looking for a second vehicle in the accident. After it happened, Birch did not surrender immediately, and the owner of the car was charged for not cooperating with detectives. Members of the Morris family were also in the courtroom, but they wouldn't comment on the defense attorney's theory about a second car being involved in the accident. He's a defense attorney, and he's doing his job. If we want to quote some famous people, do your job. Saron Birch was held over for trial on homicide by vehicle and other charges. The victim's family believes they are one step closer to getting some closure in this tragedy. Bob Allen, KDKA News.